Right, so those guys that you see playing there, that's um, it's actually my kid who's 11 years old and this is uh, the pitch for the local team who are playing in, uh, well, that would be like Sunday League, I guess. It's uh, the tier right under the Danish second division. Um, so they're amateurs and, um, well, they're not playing right now. So I'm going to uh, go and sit in the dugout. Right, so here we are uh, at the dugout in at Viby Stadium. Uh, the local team is Viby, I-F, I guess you'd say in, in English, Viby. Uh, but that's not what this is about, this is about Denmark. And obviously, should I lose this semi-final match, then uh, it's up to my uh, my kid Buster, who's 11, to um, to achieve World Cup success at some point in the future. Um, yeah, but uh, right now it's just about me mm, skipping his practice. I'm not uh, going to be the the dad on the sideline right now. Instead, I'm going to play a semi-final in the World Cup and I've got the tactics lined up like this. With Schoenberg and Helbig, a pretty defensive midfield apart from Lautrup and I've got Sand and I chose Molnar up front because, well, actually it was a toss of the coin but let's see uh, what happens when this gets underway. I think for the final I probably uh, will just take it real slow with, um, with the pace of the match and not hit the space bar but right now oh shit big chance for Argentina and now we've got Tufting injured right so that's that's just how it is and bit tempting to uh, switch around the stuff but I'll just go with the same formation do this and hopefully that'll work out um, choosing Franzen over weak horse because of the morale Which might have been stupid because um, I might need weak horse for the next match. Now, if if Tufting is out, now it, it was it wasn't a regular injury. Injury it was one of those where um, where you get the chance to sub him, but uh, but he's not totally great out. Right. This is uh, nil nil, uh, like a lot of these matches have been at halftime, and. Um, Argentina has the upper hand. Um, right. So. Hmm. I'm not going to make any changes because I already did make one of of the changes, the, the chances for substitutions that I have. I spent that already because of the. I guess you could call it an injury for uh, Tufting. Yes! Did you guys see that? Sand again. He's he's coming for the, the golden boot. Oh, I didn't even wait. I didn't even wait uh, to see if it was uh, going to be disallowed or something stupid like that. But this is... This is a good feeling being uh, ahead in a game like this. I might, <laughs> might have to stand out, stand up in the in the dugout seat um, if this continues. It looked like a Schoenberg header leading to the the goal. Oh no. Oh no. Who? Right. <laughs> so. <laughs> It was just a pop-up. I thought it was the usual one. It was one about the the lineup for. Uh, thought it was that that one, right? Uh, confusing. It was the lineup for. Um, no. Schmeichel. 
and then who hopefully not surely out of shooting range you know it's not out of shooting shooting range when they say that but yeah ah still <laughs> wow this is a bit stressful uh got jan heinz playing well in a regular left back position we've got uh reaper a bit tired but i need him and his heading abilities oh this is crazy we might be going to the final I thought for sure we were being knocked out now. Lauthrop is tired. It's the 74th minute. Got the final coming up and stuff. This might go into extra time. Oh shit. What to do? So, we've got uh, Schoenberg and Hui with yellow cards. Uh, who, who's on the bench? H Henriksen looks great. Uh, might have to put him on instead of Hui. Muller. Still poor with the Müller stuff. Um, Sand is playing fine, obviously. Molnar not really delivering. Schoenberg with three headers or something, but, and with the assist with the header. I'm gonna leave him on. And then who? You're going out. Renee Henriksen coming on. Right. So I'm gonna wait a little bit. Uh, I can sub either Molnar who's not playing uh, all that great or I can get Michael Lauterbach out of there which probably is a good idea I know he's playing well but he's not like the most important player on the pitch right now uh, so I'm going to use uh, Molnar a little bit um, in, in the role of, of Laudrup before but with an arrow he's a forward right and center it should work out fine and then uh, and then I'm gonna do the do a little defensive thing with the midfield just to play it a bit safe right here in France and I don't know I don't know probably should work and <laughs> I'm going on intuition now guys because it's the semi-final of the World Cup and oh shit and I just uh, used the third sub that I have so now things just mustn't go wrong so and Full time. So there you have it. I can't believe it. This actually happened. We're going to the World Cup final. I guess. Uh, guess I'll see you guys there. Um, <laughs> that's that's the semi final with a one nil win. Bjarne Goldberg returned from suspension. See drifting out a week. He'll be sad about that. Schoenberg suspended. Ah, uh, right. Could have used his uh, hitting prowess in the final match, but we'll have to do without. Um, that's almost it for this time, because obviously, obviously, I don't want to cheat you out of the result of this match. It's it's a penalty. Um, means they uh, they went into uh, extra time. And uh, Reitziger missed uh, an all-important penalty in the end, meaning that we've got Spain, uh, the old nemesis for Denmark, and we've got them in the World Cup final on the 12th of June. So there's uh, three days from now and I guess yeah, five days from, uh, from the match day from when we played the semi-final. So... Michael Laudrup should be 100% for that match. Now I'm going to go pick up my kit from, uh, from actual real life soccer practice instead of this. Better just, better just remember to save first. Right, so we've got Holland on third place and save game. There you go. So, see you guys. Bye.